नमस्कार यू आर वॉचिंग पी एम ई विद्या चैनल एंड एन सी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज चैनल नंबर नाइन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग क्लास नाइन लाइव इंटरटेक्टिव सेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो वी वेलकम यू इन दिस लाइव इंटरटेक्टिव सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एंड डिस्कस अबाउट द चैप्टर द लिटिल गर्ल understanding the text and the vocabulary uh, you can also be a part of this uh, live session uh, with the help of telephone number and the email id of class 9th so what we are going to learn let's explore this uh, chapter with our expert she is here in the studio miss meenu gupta is here uh, she is a mentor teacher from department of education uh, government of delhi meenu ji namaskar and a very warm welcome good afternoon everyone uh, good afternoon uh, so what we are going to learn in this chapter as the title says the little girl so what we are going to learn is about the little girl her relationship because when we are children we have mm -hmm. different relationship with different people some mm -hmm. people we may like some mm -hmm. we may not some yes. would be neutral like mm -hmm. it depends on the situation mm -hmm. if somebody is always pampering you loving you you like that person mm -hmm. and if somebody is always scolding you you might mm -hmm. not like that person <laughs> yes. so it depends uh, so the chapter is about the relationship between a young girl a okay. small girl mm -hmm. her name is kezia and her family okay so let's see who is kezia yes hmm. so before we begin okay let me ask you rahul oh have you ever been scolded by your parents <laughs> yes I, yes I, and why uh you know when uh, i used to play for a long time without the consent of my parents and uh, of course when i did not complete my homework okay when you did not complete your homework, homework so he was got scolded hmm. and how did you feel when they were scolding you uh, were you happy or were you were you upset about it or did you feel okay it's my mistake i should learn from it no that uh, you know uh, the situation of scolding you know uh, made me upset most of the time so you were after some time you know it is okay So happened. yes now as a adult i think you are yourself a parent now yes. now what do you think about it is it important to scold children or not uh, as a person on a means on a personal note i think uh, sometimes yes sometimes yes so but not all the time not so perhaps you understand the reasons some of their action had that used to upset you earlier just hmm. so it makes your relationship with your family much better right yes when the situation passes on probably after some time when we think about the situation we can understand the reason behind the situation mm -hmm. so there is a picture here this is from the textbook itself okay what do you notice about the parents in the picture what do you think the parents are like in this picture mm, i think this is the drawing room of some home where yes. uh, father uh, is sleeping on the sofa yes and uh, mother is reading something and do you think they are paying attention to the child and i think no they have their own mind i write and uh, the girl is looking for some attention but uh, she is not getting it from their parents exactly so the girl is looking for attention and she is not getting it so okay. we can see that the father is sleeping the mother is reading as you just said mm -hmm. parents are busy and they are ignoring the child so they are not talking to each right. other so neither do the parents know what the child is thinking mm -hmm. and neither does the child know what the parents are thinking about right. her so there is a gap between the two so this is what the chapter is about okay it refers to the main character a girl named kezia the theme is the relationship between children and their parents mm -hmm. children share a very important bond or a special bond with their parents but when they are young they might not have a very good bond because the parents may be strict they may they might stop the child from doing something and the children may not like it but after some time or after they grow up they do realize that whatever was done was the in the best of their capacity hmm. so parents were concerned about them and beneath all that strictness it was their love and concern for the child uh -huh. so if we talk about the chapter i'm just giving you a small summary so that when we talk a great detail about the type of questions that come from the chapter or understanding the text okay you can attempt the same so okay. kezia is a little girl who lives with her mother father and a, her grandmother so it's a small family okay she was afraid of her father look at this word afraid this is the key word throughout the chapter okay and 
she used to avoid him why she used to avoid him because she was very small and little and okay. her father was like tall and giant she okay. looked she felt that as if he was a giant person okay so whenever father left for his work she was very happy and relieved oh gone a big sigh <laughs> gone okay and when uh, father used to talk to her she was so afraid that she started stuttering otherwise with anybody she did not stutter but with the father she was like yeah yeah yeah, yeah yes father <laughs> so she used to stutter okay her grand her grandmother wanted her to understand her parents better and would often ask her to go to the drawing room to chat like i showed you in the picture mm -hmm. but she found them indifferent they did not pay any attention to the child okay so what happened one day was that her grandmother suggested that she should prepare a gift for her father's birthday so she made a pin cushion so she stitched three sides of the pin cushion casing and she wanted something to stuff it in if you know what a pin cushion is it's like a small pillow in which you put all your pins in earlier now we have uh, specific boxes for the pins earlier we used to keep them in a small pillow called as pin cushion so so she goes to her mother's room find some paper uh, nice paper so she tears it off fills it in the cushion and stitches it but by mistake she uses a very important papers which were her father's speech in an important function okay so the father is obviously very angry hmm. she accepts her mistake but the father is very angry and punishes her with a ruler okay so this leave, leaves a very um, what should i say indelible mark on her psyche in her mind Negative that whenever context. she saw her father she used to hide her hands right. that he would beat her hmm. so she used to she failed to understand the punishment that was given to her and she was like so upset that why did the why did even god make fathers for if he was always angry with her mm -hmm. and in contrast she saw the opposite side of the spectrum with her neighbor mr mcdonalds who used to play with his children all the time he used to laugh with them enjoy with them play with them so Kezia was somehow able to understand that all fathers are not the same. There are different types of fathers. Okay. Some are loving and caring like Mr. McDonald, and mm. some are cruel like her father. Okay. This is what she thinks. Mm. But by the end of the chapter, something happens that makes her change her attitude and thought process towards her father. Yes, towards her father. Okay. Her mother was unwell, and her grandmother and mother were in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So Kezia was left alone in the house. but day you pass on but at night she was left alone and it was very scary for her mm. so she woke up in the middle of the night screaming because of a horrible nightmare right. okay she in her nightmare she saw a butcher coming with a big knife towards her so she was she cried out okay. she was weeping with fear and when she opens her eyes she sees her father with next to her who carries her to his bedroom and makes him comfortable makes her sit lie down with him and so that she can feel safe and comfortable with him so this is at this instant she understands that her father was not that bad mm -hmm. he was not that of a giant mm -hmm. he loved and cared for her okay. and she had to work because he did not have time for her basically he was always very tired because he was working very hard hmm. so as we have gone through the summary if we are able to answer this question how do we check that we have understood the whole chapter okay so for the students who are watching this or may watch it in future so this is a small graphic organizer that helps you it deals with the five important points of a chapter that who what when why the, how we decide the plot of the chapter mm. so who wrote this chapter we, who is the writer of the chapter katherine mansfield mm -hmm. which uh, characters can you name some characters in the chapter yes i think uh, the small family of kezia yes father mother and grandmother and kezia so these are the four characters in the chapter or we can add some more uh, characters if we would like to mr mcdonald and his yes. five children Yes, Mr. McDonald and five children as well. Yes. That's great. Mm. So going back to the PPT, uh, why was Kezia afraid of her father? What mm. do you make out? Why was she afraid? Initially, we have learned this. You know, uh, you know, uh, he was looking like a giant. Yes, because he was very tall and tall. like broad, mm -hmm. like a giant, and she was like pretty little. Mm. She was very small. That mm. is why she used to had to look her father at like this, right okay. in 
up there. Okay. So she was always afraid of him. Mm -hmm. And second reason could be if the marks are more in the like, if it is a three mark question, mm -hmm. what you can add is that because he did not spend a lot of time, time with, with her. her if they didn't communicate, they did not spend time with each other. Mm -hmm. So she was again, she continued staying afraid with the mm -hmm. father. Next question, uh, why was Kezia's father angry with her? Why was he angry? I think, uh, you know, mistakenly she, she uh, missed out some papers. Yes, she actually tore some of the important okay. papers. Okay. So, the father was very angry. Even if we do it, probably we will also get a good scolding yes. if you are going yes. to <laughs> uh, spoil and some. some important speech for him. Yes. So, give two reasons why Kezia and her parents could not understand each other. This is the underlying question. So sometimes there are like thematic questions that come in the paper because now if we look at some last year question papers, we'll understand that CBSC is not asking for direct questions. Okay. So there could be some thematic questions. Uh -huh. So this is a thematic question that we look beyond what is given directly. We have uh -huh. to understand why this why? was happening. So why do you think that Kezia and her parents could not understand each other? Can you guess something? Uh, one common problem is that uh, there is a communication gap if they, you know, uh, could have spent some time talk, exactly. talk to each other. Because they did not spend time with each right. other. They could not understand mm. what each other were thinking. Mm. And there was a communication gap. Okay. Secondly, uh, the I think the father never sat down with her. Mm. And even when he punished her, he never came back and told the reason for the punishment. Mm -hmm. Even if the parents scold you sometimes or we as a parent we scold somebody sometimes mm -hmm. we have to go back to the child and make him understand mm -hmm. why that punishment was given out. Mm -hmm. So that why was missing, that communication was missing. So this is precisely the reason the communication gap stayed. Okay. So how did Kezia realize her father's plight? When the situation uh, arrived, uh, huh. by, uh, when her grandmother, you know, hospitalized. When the mother was hospitalized and father actually spent some time some with her. her. He, he consoled the girl. Mm. They came closer. They could right. talk to each other or mm. come closer. Even mm. sometimes non-verbal contact yes. says a lot. He just hugged her and he, she felt good about mm. it. So, even just a small gesture made her understand right. that probably the father was tired and mm. didn't have, have yes, time for maybe, her. Uh, didn't have time. Yes, exactly. Mm. So, if moving ahead, so theme was relationship between the children and the parents. So, the idea is we have to uh, understand the reason behind everything was being done. Mm. This we have already discussed. So, character sketch of Kezia. Hmm. This is important. This is something that would come in a long question. Yes. The, all the character sketch questions are long questions. Mm -hmm. And in front of you on the screen, you can see a few words. So, if you have to write a character sketch, and suppose you haven't learnt it, how do we write a character sketch in the um, exam? So what do, these are some of the qualities. First of all, you just remember, recall anything you know about the girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, first we know that she was a small girl. Yes. She used to love her parents because she was like, she had a good relationship with whom? With mm -hmm. her ma mother. Mother and father only. Ha, she had a good relationship with the grandmother mm -hmm. because she spent most of the yes. time with the yes. grandmother. Mm -hmm. Then for with the mother, she was had an obedient relationship. She used to follow whatever the mother told. Mm -hmm. But she was afraid of her father. So when you are writing the character sketch, you write the word the vocabulary and the reason behind it. So we have to write each and everything and we have to give one example from the text. Then you will get marks. Otherwise, if you are just writing she was obedient, innocent, sensitive, it won't work. Right. You will get only half the marks, whatever it is being allotted to you. Suppose it's a like five marker or a six marker, you will end up having only three. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't use examples from the text. Okay. So, if we say she was obedient because her grandmother told her to make a pin cushion and she started making it. Okay. So we know she is an obedient, yeah, girl. obedient girl. Yes, she was always afraid of her father. How do we know it? Because she used to be relieved when the father went for work or 
she used to stutter when the father asked some questions mm. with her and she was affectionate to her grandmother we know that every time she was crying it was the grandmother used to come and console her and mm. spend time with her and even when she was like she woke up from her nightmare she was looking for her grandmother so mm. she know, we know that she was most attached to her grandmother okay so this is how we give examples from the text and write the character sketch okay so we don't have to remember a lot just a few words and then we can expand on it okay similarly grandmother you might not give two important characters in the text are kezia and the father so probably if you'll get a question you'll get it from kezia or the father this is something you can build upon you can see it yourself okay for the father we know that he was very strict with kezia mm. he was authoritative yeah, he used to respect strange. his mother but he was very dedicated towards the work he spent a lot of time working hmm. so these are some of the qualities that have been listed you have to just find an example from the text and complete it you can try doing it after the chapter like hmm. we have completed this session so now if you look at this picture do you think you have changed a little like thought earlier we thought that the parents were not concerned about her now what do you think we can say that this family has some strict guidelines you know to stay <laughs> in, the, in the house we can say after reading this chapter or we can just feel that the father was too tired that he mm. didn't have the energy to get up yes, and talk to, to kezia yes. yes and the mother was just spending time with her husband probably giving support to the husband and not taking out time for the or maybe child. she is looking for some interesting content for you know for her cookery types thing uh, something probably something, yes kind of so if we know the reason behind why things are happening sometimes it changes our own perspective like. so we use we should stop and think the reason behind any incident mm -hmm. before making any judgment or deciding why what kind of a person that person is right. so as we have just done the chapter let's let me ask you a few questions the Ke uh, kezia was afraid of her father hmm. why do you think like what could be the reason because he never talked to her because he never played with her or because he kept finding faults with her uh, we can say a and b uh, a would be the reason more because if it's an mcq right. as you know the latest pattern yes. we have to choose only one, one so oh, yes one uh, so i think a is more suitable yes a is more suitable because mm -hmm. he never talked to her if we would have talked even just spent a little time i think mm -hmm. the work was done right what would kezia do while saying something to her father how would she behave she would stammer she would begin to cry or she would speak loudly a a yes she stammered she stuttered stammer and stutter are used for the same words they are the same vocabulary so okay. they can be used uh, interchangeably oh. where was kezia's father to give the great speech she told the pages of the speech this is an important part of the chapter because she was punished hmm. so speech was given to being given in where can you guess no i think uh, c it was port, port authority. authority yes okay next question why would kezia's grandmother encourage her to talk to her father so that she could learn new things so that she could explain her problems to him or she could give him some company and make him less feel less lonely i think c yes c because grandmother being a mother herself mm -hmm. understood that even the father was lonely not right. just kezia was lonely mm -hmm. even the father was lonely okay. he was just working 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 and coming home and lying down mm -hmm. he was also lonely he needed company so she used to encourage kezia to go and talk to the father next kezia had a nightmare about a fairy of her father and a butcher with a knife in the hand see see yes a butcher with a knife in his hand, hand. next what gift did the grandmother suggest to kezia to give to her father on his birthday see see a pin cushion we had discussed it that it was precisely for the stuffing of the pin cushion that she told the speech yes 
so these are some important questions if you are able to answer these questions you will be able to get the whole idea of the text what the text talks about mm -hmm. like why was the kezia's father strict why did kezia's grandmother often send her to her parents every sunday afternoon why did kezia like mr mcdonald more than her father what was missing in kezia's relationship with the parents and do you justify kezia's father's behavior these questions you won't find in the chat like book itself but if you are able to attempt this question i can surely say that you have understood the text thoroughly if you are able to answer these questions because yes, these are not and i think this chapter you know entirely gives some space for the children so that they may have some you know critical means means critical thinking ability they can yes. try they can observe they can think about the family first Yes, and they, uh, think about the various aspects of the family and the relationship with each other, right? This is all the whole fiction is all about. Okay. The fictions are examples. Then, mm -hmm. and when you are reading them, mm -hmm. what like there are two different things that are going simultaneously. First, you are reading the text. Mm -hmm. You are visualizing what is happening yes, the right. the story. So there is one world around, mm -hmm. like in front of you, yes. and then there is world one world in behind in your own mind. You try right. to compare the situation with mm -hmm. yourself. What right. happens at my home? If I would have done it, what would my father have done? Probably I would and also have been beaten. And, and also, we can say that uh, what is going on in their own personal lives, right? Yes. And their friends' lives, because they may know each other. They know the, uh, you know, the other families as well. Exactly. So, like so she the, compared so her father picture, with. You know, parallelly comes down in the picture. Exactly. Right. Like she right. compared her father with Mr. McDonald. Yes. So we have two world view in front of us in yes. the chapter right, itself. Right. And the third would be what happens in your home mm -hmm. when you. Commit a small mistake. Right. Do you get beaten? Do you no. get just scolded? <laughs> Or it's like your father scolding and your mother like <laughs> nothing. It happens. <laughs> so it happens. Like okay. different parents do behave differently right. in different situations. But however, we need to understand that if it we have committed a mistake, we should take responsibility for our actions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's move ahead. We have hardly two minutes, Minuji. So these are some because we, I promise some of the vocabulary question. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, like different type of vocabulary that are used for similar situation. You can see plan, suggested, advised are similar looking vocabularies, yes. but they are used in different contexts. Mm -hmm. Like my my brother dash me to see the doctor without delay. Okay. So it's like doctor is something yes. that you can. Not skip upon. Probably right. you are yes. unwell, yes. so it would be an advice. Mm. Agreed. And my friend dash that we should go for an evening walk together. So evening walk can be an option. So if there is an option available, it's a suggestion. Mm. So it's suggested. suggested. So we need to understand where these vocabularies are being used. Right. Like in the next question, mm -hmm. my sister is dash. a beautiful sweater for me so probably she is a what she is making that sweater mm. and suraj will not accompany us as he is dash for the exams preparing preparing exams you know if there is a exam there is a preparation we prepare yes, yes we prepare before we have to start mugging up learning what mm. do we do right right and like lots of tuitions probably loads of revise at the la yes, yes. last minute thing going on she became self conscious when her teacher dash at her when do we become conscious when stare. people look at you or stare at you stare, stare, stare exactly both father and daughter dash at the stars as they sat by the lake gazed yes. for the stars we always use the vocabulary yes, gazed so these are some vocabulary that are used in the chapter so if you read the chapter you have one example one is this if you try to use them in your own sentences it would be again a good practice okay. then this is one this you will do as you can do as your own homework okay. i am leaving it you can just take a screenshot and continue mm -hmm. and this is a writing exercise these are three diaries of three different children mm -hmm. and it talks about their relationship with their father one is a strict father like in the chapter one is a very liberal father like mr mcdonalds one is a mix in between now you have to write your own relationship with your father try writing at least 3 4 lines okay. how, what is your own relationship with your own parents how do they behave in in case you make a mistake or 
in like general also. Right. So these are some examples. You can use some information from here and then make your own information. So this okay. is a home exercise. I think not much to do, but still try. Yes, I think they can do easily. And thank you very much for this wonderful session, Meenuji. Thanks for your time. As you, you know, uh, the way you taught this session. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So this English session comes to an end now. Don't go away. Keep watching. We'll be right back with the next session of webinar on PME with their channels. Namaskar.